Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, bringing Virgos their weekly love read. Virgos, this is for April 4th through the 10th. We're going to be doing something a little different today. We're going to be getting information on your person, Virgo. So this could be um, who you're married to. This could be someone uh, that you're thinking about. This could be someone that's thinking about you. This could be someone you might not really be aware of. Um, so just take it how it resonates. We're going to get their feelings, their hopes, their fears, the blockages to this relationship. Ooh, the actions are going to take and the outcome. So then we're also going to get some message cards and end the read with the oracles of the fairy card. So um, these are general reads, so take them how they resonate. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon or rising signs if you don't feel like this is really hitting the mark. Um, there's a link in the description box below that'll take you to a web page to get you the information about what your moon and your rising signs are. There's also a description, and I'm sorry, there's also a link in the description box below that'll take you to my personal webpage if you want a personal. All right, guys, let's get information about your person. What are they feeling about you, Virgos? They feel that you are their twin flame. They feel like you are their, oh, oh. They feel like you're their twin flame. That just changed the whole vibe, this last card popping up. Um, they feel like you are their stability, you are their home, you are the person they're supposed to be with. They feel like you guys are that twin flame energy that's kind of been separated um, prior to coming to earth that needs to kind of find their way to come back together. The person that shows the other person um, all these difficult lessons and, and growth. Um they want to they want to rush towards you. They want to rush towards you and they want to directly communicate their feelings and how they feel for you. I think they do have um intense love for you. Um but they also are very sad and have heartbreak about the situation between you and them. So they they know that you're their person. They know that they're your person. They know that you guys belong together. They know that you guys are on the twin path journey together and that are teaching each other lessons. They want to rush towards you and communicate how they feel, but they also, there's some sadness there. All right, let's get some hopes. What is your person's hopes about this? What's your person's hopes about the situation between you and them, Virgos? The Fool. The Nine of Cups. And the Knight of Wands, nice. So their hopes are that um, you guys can take this leap of faith and move forward. So if you're together, this is just like continuing moving forward. If you're not together, this could be taking a leap of faith into maybe a more committed relationship. But they are wanting to be hoping that this situation, you guys will be optimistic fools and take that leap forward and jump into the situation. They hope for a wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups here is... Um, getting everything you want in love, that's what they're hoping for, this complete wish fulfillment in love. And with the Knight of Wands here, this is fiery, sexy, passionate, good energy, good vibes, good humor. So they want love. They want passion. They want happiness. They want to jump. They want this to move forward. That's what they're hoping for. What is your person's fears, Virgo? And this is where it gets heavy. They're fearful that you are um, thinking with your head and not with your heart. They're fearful that you are kind of cutting through um, all the crap, right? Like you're thinking about this situation with mental clarity. You're thinking about this with logic. You're being rational. Um, and they're fearful that that's going to kind of make you walk away from the situation. They're fearful that you're going to walk away from them and walk into something even more powerful and more happy. They're fearful that maybe they haven't rested and recuperated enough to give you everything that they need. So they're, de they're definitely fearful that you are kind of critically thinking about the situation and perhaps you might be moving on to calmer waters. And I feel like they... They don't know how to heal themselves fast enough, you know, to make this situation better. What is the blockage in this relationship? What is the blockage? Mm. Oh, well, we're going to interpret this a couple different ways, guys. Um, the blockage could be that there are two people, um, two kings showing up. We have the king of pentacles, which would be you, and the king of swords, 
which could be an air sign. So the blockage could be that there's competition. Um, maybe they think you have another person. But there's also the blockage showing up as the Six of Cups, which is like a soul connection, right? It's like a reunion. So I almost wonder if they're worried that someone from your past is going to come back and, um, you know, potentially give them a run for their money. But this is blockage. Um, the blockage could be that they're overthinking the situation, too, with the knight, the king of swords. So um, you or them could be overthinking. But I feel like you're showing up, Virgo, as your king of pentacles self. So you could be part of the blockage. You could be the one overthinking. You could be the one um, really contemplating this soul connection and, like, what does it mean? And I think when we try to use logic in terms of a soul connection, soul connections don't really make sense, right? We have like these intense thoughts and feelings about this person that logically we're like, what the heck? This doesn't make sense. Why am I attracted to this person? Why do I like this person? Why do I love this person? Why do I feel this way? This is no one that I'm even remotely close to picking previously, but it just makes sense. So maybe Virgo, you're the one that's really being this critical overthinker about the connection and that's the blockage. Maybe you're thinking too much because you want it to be logical. You want it to make sense and it doesn't. What's the actions going to be from your person? All right. So your person is, um, I feel like they were potentially at a, a crossroads, right? At a stalemate. Um, I feel like they are going to be taking action. They're going to take this blindfold off and move forward. Um, they're going to show up and try to be the most happy, optimistic, positive thing in your life, right? Um, that, or they could be potentially planning children, or maybe you already have children, but the action is to be this joy, to be this happiness, to be, to make things better, to make things right. They're making that choice. They're taking off that blindfold. Um, but this will be a slow connection or a slow rebuild, right? So like if you're already in a relationship, it's going to take some time to get back to this happiness and joy, but that's the end goal. Um, it's slow and steady wins the race and it's going to just take time to move on that path. So I think I do see forward action excuse me a forward yeah action of getting joy making things stable making things committed making sure this is a um consistent loyal relationship it's just going to be slow moving what's going to be the outcome between virgo and that person a higher level spiritual connection Five of Cups and King of Wands. Um, so this is usually a marriage card. So if you're not married, I do see a marriage, a higher level commitment. Um, could be a spiritual ascension. But I definitely see uh, a marriage. And I see lots of passion. Lots of passion. Lots of fiery, sexy, flirty, passionate energy. Um, I do think there's definitely love and passion in this situation. But the outcome is still showing me this Five of Cups. So this is kind of like somebody's focusing still on what they don't have versus what they do have. And that's going to kind of be like um, something that's going to be a continual thing that I think you have to kind of move on and work past. So there might be some like depressive type tendencies or feelings, um, feelings of self-worth. And I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's them, but take it how it resonates guys. But the outcome will be a marriage or a higher level commitment. So if, if you're looking for like a committed relationship or moving in with someone or becoming engaged or becoming married, I, I think that's happening. Lots of passion. All right, we're going to get a couple of Sacred Healing Journey cards from Angelic Revelation 144. Meditation, healing, and finding inner peace. Love and romance. Your partner wants to show, wants to romance you and show you their love. Yeah, they want to be that sun card for you. Positive thinking, sunshine after the rain. So yeah, I think um, things will be bouncing back. All right, messages of love, oracle cards from All Things Intuitive for Virgo. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. And again, that's that Knight of Pentacles energy, guys. Slow and steady wins the race. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? Maybe that's part of this Five of Cups energy. Maybe there'll be some conflict there. 
The Hidden Truth Oracle by All Things Intuitive. These are messages between you and your person. I will wait for a sign from you. I know I messed up everything and I left when I saw you with someone. We're going to get a couple love vibes from King of Aloha. And again, these are messages between you and your person. It could be from you to them or them to you. I didn't reach out because I'm not interested. I didn't reach out to you because I'm not interested. I don't think that's the truth. I'm not the one for you. I'm trying to fix my life right now. I feel like um, I said like self-esteem, self-worth issues. I feel like that's going to be what comes into play. That negative self-talk. The lies we tell ourselves. And honestly, the seven of swords is on the bottom of the deck. Which is lies and deceptions. Um, the lies we tell ourselves to kind of protect ourselves. All right, guys, let's get an Oracle of the Fairies card by Karen Kay. Virgo tree wisdom. This tree dyad, dryad, sorry, dryad, I, I can't spell. Oh, I mean, I can't read. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers that, oh my gosh, sorry. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Good gravy tomatoes. It's not even late and I can't read. All right, here we go. The tree, the tree dryad invites you to tune in to the ancient tree wisdom and allow it to imbue your aura. She plays upon her wooden flute to attract your attention through its enchanting sound and vibration and wishes you to know that your present situation can be helped if you connect with the trees. Hugging a tree is a great way to have direct physical contact and form an energetic connection. Always ask permission from the tree before doing this. Take a few moments to visualize yourself deeply rooted in the ground, just like the tree, and say in your mind or out loud, I wish to connect with you. May I hug you, tree? Oh my goodness. You should receive an instantaneous answer, which may come as a word or a feeling. Trust this. Trees offer their wisdom through different gifts depending on the season. In the spring and summer months, trees blossom. Tree blossoms can be very healing and uplifted. In the cooler seasons of autumn and winter, the trees shed their leaves knowing that they will be new growth in the springtime. The same goes for you. The fairies say tree wisdom can help you shed any unwanted cares or concerns. So learn to release them with love and know the new spiritual growth will come to you when the time is right. Tree wisdom is knowing that birds, insects, and animals will carry the tree seeds far away so they can grow in their own right, literally in their own light. Perhaps it's time for you to move away from a situation that's stunting your growth or for a general move to allow a new set of circumstances to open up in your life. All right, tree huggers. All right, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you like this format better than the um, you, them, and the connection, please let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.